guys. Welcome to、uh, this week Gen Tang Learning Channel. Now today, this Friday, is a very casual and、uh, chill Friday for me because I do not have any meetings today. So I've got this very sudden craving on the kind of beverage that that I like. It's my favorite beverage, and I think some of you would know this is quite up to trend boba tea. It's called the Alley, right? And this particular series is my favorite. It's called the Brown Sugar Duroka Matcha, and I, I enjoy this. This is a good drink. So yeah, it's gonna, it's a very chill Friday for me, and I'm just sitting down there and wondering what I'm doing. And I really enjoy the work that I do because、um, in the process of analyzing and studying property market, sometimes whatever I do, whatever I experience and see during the day. Uh, I could easily relate to the property market, like this business model,、uh, franchise business, the alley, right? As I was、uh, buying and I was observing, I realized that this kind of business model, they open in location that is strategic. And what what actually makes them makes them open in that particular location? They definitely do some survey, and. Uh, some of the survey will be definitely in terms of the market demand, the type of population, and most importantly, the location has to be strategic, and it has to have enough number of people or crowd in that location to sustain、uh, the demand or to sustain the business. So,、um, especially when we are looking for property, especially for investment,、uh, sometimes we look at, of course, the main criteria that. Um, falls under your requirements, but you can also walk around that area and do some small survey and look at small little signs like that. Surprisingly, small like little signs like this, like what kind of business is there any up to trend businesses around? That will actually give you a certain confidence and certain sign that the location is、uh, is is good and it has its potential. Because this kind of business, franchise business, they will definitely do their due diligence well before、uh, making a decision to open up a store here. All right. So today I'm actually in this location that is very、uh, currently rapidly developing, rapidly developing. And it's really interesting. So I'm going to bring、uh, all of you to go around this area and have a look and study briefly on this location. All right? Let me just have a few seats and let's go. Hi everyone. So right now I'm actually on Old Klang Road and. I have my very talented videographer with me, Melvin. Hello, hi. Yeah. So today he's not gonna be my videographer. He's gonna be my driver. Thank you so much. Now,、uh, let me just share with you a little bit about Old Klang Road. Now, Old Klang Road is actually currently rapidly growing because of its location. And、uh, let me also share with you a little bit about the history. This stretch of road is actually constructed in 1908 by British Federal Railway States. So it is considered one of the significant road、uh, historically because it's、uh, despite being the oldest, it is one the only road that link from Kuala Lumpur to Port Klang, right? And the location is actually if you look at the Google Map, it's actually in mid of Klang Valley and it's very close to Mid Valley, which is the、uh, largest mall in Malaysia. Yeah. So. If you notice also around Old Klang Road, this stretch of road,、um, the and all the areas around it is well developed and it's also quite a、uh, uh, crowded, populated area like Mid Valley, Econ City,、uh, and then、uh, we have the Bangsa Bangsa South, KL Central, and most of the value of the property nearby this stretch of road. Is at easily one thousand per square feet. So the potential of this road is that location-wise is equally strategic, but yet it is currently developing. So you can still find something that is not so high in value yet, below one thousand per square feet. Alright. So today I'm gonna let you let you see the entire Old Klang Road at a different view. Alright. Let's go. Old Klang Road is actually a fantastic area in terms of accessibility. 
It is located in the midpoint for traveling to many places within Kuala Lumpur and Selangor. And along this stretch of Oakland Road, you can actually see there are many commercial activities such as uh, entertainment outlets, food and beverage centers, which actually provide many job opportunities in, in this area. There are also a lot of very iconic landmarks that can be found nearby here, such as uh, Mid Valley Mega Mall. Along Oakland Road, we have Scott Garden and Pearl Point, which are situated at the end of Oakland Road. So guys, that's a very brief footage and a drone view on the entire Oakland Road. Now many people may not be aware of the potential of Oakland Road, but in fact, because of its strategic location, uh, this area here has a very uh, good potential and that can be proven by the number of big property developers that are coming in. And it's also an area that is sandwiched between a very well developed uh, development, very well developed areas like Mid Valley, KL Central and so on. Now the next question here is that when the location is so strategic and when there's so many property developers coming into this location, then you may want to look into what are the success factors of a developer? What can what is in that development that will actually make it outstanding and, and uh, be able to compete with other property developers in that location? Well, one key point here is that look at the internal value of the project. What does it mean by internal value? Now, in a high internal value project means that despite the location, if I put if I shift that high internal development into other areas, it has a self-sustaining factor or a self -cap a capability to attract people to go to that development itself despite looking at the location. So if you happen to have happen to see a high internal value project located in a very strategic location, then this will be a very prospectful uh, investment. Okay? So one of the examples that I can give you nowadays is that mixed development concept. Now, you can actually see that the future generation are looking, are liking more of this concept, the conveniency concept where everything is under a roof. You don't even have to travel out. So you can actually stay there, uh, work there, or um, entertainment factor is there, and everything is under a roof. So that is one thing that the future generation will like. Okay, and then besides that, you look at what kind of concept that the development can give. For example, there will always be a market that will go for a premium lifestyle concept or a more quality lifestyle concept. Yeah, and also if you look at the future generation, the current generation actually, they enjoy a quality lifestyle concept. So these are some of the things that you may want to look into um, besides looking at the location and that will actually help in boosting up the occupancy rate of that, that development and hence the rental rate and then subsequently the property value. Yeah. So that's all for this week. Uh, today we talk a little bit about Oakland Road and some of, uh, some of my insights on uh, looking into internal value of a project. Yeah. And I hope that you enjoy this video. Now, before I end this video, let me just share with you the current project that I'm marketing in Oakland Road that has very good internal value with very strong past track record on the developer. Right after this, you'll be able to see the site of the development that is completing in 2022 and a sneak peek on the concept of the entire development. And if you would like to know more about this project, just uh, private message me, PM me, and I'll walk through with you on the project personally. Okay? Thank you very much for thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for my next week video. Goodbye.